Hey, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel where today we'll be guiding you through the logistics of certificate-based authentication. In the vast universe of digital communication, how can we be sure of who or what we're connecting to? The answer is through certificate-based authentication. To start, we have the certificate authorities or CAs. They're like the passport offices of the digital world, issuing digital certificates to entities after verifying their identity. Each certificate contains vital information, but two key elements are the issuer and the subject or subject alternative name. When connecting, the first check is to see if the certificate comes from a trusted CA. Think of this as checking if a passport is from a recognized country. Next, we look at the subject name or subject alternative name. It tells us who the certificate is for. This is akin to the photo and name on your ID card, ensuring it belongs to the right individual. But what if a certificate gets compromised or shouldn't be trusted anymore? Meet the Certificate Revocation List, or CRL. It's a list of certificates that have been revoked by the Certificate Authority before their expiration. Devices should always check this list to avoid accepting a revoked certificate. Another method is the Online Certificate Status Protocol, or OCSP for short. Instead of downloading a big list, devices can quickly ask an OCSP responder about the status of a single, specific certificate. With these checks in place, CBA ensures a safer and more secure way to authenticate in our modern digital universe. That's it for today's session on CBA. See you next time.